Okay, so here the first question says solve. Um, so that means find the value of x that makes this true. Uh, several ways we could do this. Um, the quickest way would probably be to expand the bracket. So 5x and 5 threes make 15, which is a takeaway, so 5x take away 15, and that equals negative 25. Uh, solve means make x the subject, so in other words we want to get down to x equals. So do the opposite operations as we move everything away from x. So take away 15 is um, not in the term with x, so that gets done first. So we add that, so we end up with 5x is going to be equal to, well negative 25 plus 15 is negative 10. Um, this tells me that 5 times something, so the opposite of times is divide, so we'll divide by the 5. So negative 10 divided by 5, remember our rules of negatives, uh, well, one negative sign doesn't get cancelled, so it stays as a negative. So that's when we're dividing and times in that rule. Um, so negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2, so x is worth negative 2. All algebra should always be checked, so we recognise that we found the value of x, so we can replace x with the negative 2. So let's replace the x, and we'll kind of see what this is worth. Well, I'll do the bracket first. So negative 2 to uh, take away 3 more is negative 5. So this tells me to do 5 lots of negative 5. That equals negative 25. So we can be quite happy that worked. The question then goes on and asks us to make d the subject of this uh, formula. So it's a formula because we've got a subject letter equal to some of the letters. Uh, if we knew the value of these letters, we could find the value of p. So it's a formula. Um, if you want to make D the subject, that means I move everything away from D to make it uh, the subject on its own. Um, this is saying minus 7D, so the best thing to do would be to add 7D first because we want to make the D a positive thing because all subject letters are positive. So we end up with P plus 7D because we always come down when we're doing this. So P plus 7D, that equals W. Um, so I've got D there positive, so that means I must move either the 7 or the P next. Now this has got the term with D in it, so I do all the terms without the subject letter first. So we're going to move the P. Now in front of here, although we don't write it, it's positive, so the opposite of that is a takeaway. So we end up with 7 Ds positive, equal to W minus P, followed downwards, W first minus the P. Uh, we know what 7 d's are, so we need to divide by 7, because 7 times d, opposite is divide. So we end up with d equal to w minus p over 7. Now with all algebra, we really ought to check again. So the check is this. In the original uh, formula, we could give the value for w, so I'll give w a value of 1, keep it simple, and I'll give d a value of 2, again, just to keep it simple. So the formula said to get the value of p, we do the w value, take away 7 times the d value. So 1 take away 14 is negative 13. If this is true, I should be able to put the p value back in here with the w value, and it should give me the same d value that I chose. So let's have a look. So this is telling me to take the w value minus um, the p value, so that was negative 13, and divide that by 7. A minus next to a minus makes it a plus. So negative 2 to negatives next to each other. Plus, so 1 plus 13 over 7. That's 14 over 7, 2. Well, we originally chose the value of 2. So our check is kind of helping us to see that the rearrangement has worked.